morning, it's Saturday morning and you're watching News X. I'm Uday Pratap Singh, beginning with some breaking news coming in from Maharashtra. Well, the Shiv Sena's scathing attack on the Prime Minister over the auction of his suit continues. The Samna write-up today states, the Prime Minister wears new suits every day and if these suits are auctioned, we can get back black money, unquote. Another quote is, Modi should auction the four to five suits he changes every day, unquote. Remember, Modi's suit was auctioned for 4.31 crores yesterday. That, of course, was that suit which he wore when President Barack Obama was here, which had his uh, uh, initials, or rather his entire name, uh, printed on those pinstripes there. So the Shiv Sena mocking the Prime Minister, it seems, in that editorial in the Samna. Let's go straight across to Urvashi Kona, joining us on the phone line. Well, Urvashi, you know, of course, you were right there when that suit was sold for 4.31 crores, but it seems now that the Shiv Sena is poking fun at the Prime Minister over that price. Yeah, certainly, you know, we see that how... Uh, of course, you were right there when that suit was sold for 4.31 crores, but it seems now that the Shiv Sena is poking fun at the Prime Minister over that price. Yeah, certainly, you know, we see that how uh, it is Shiv Sena uh, who has come out now with a lot of sarcasm, not only that, about the Modi suit, but then certainly also... Uh, the person goes ahead and uh, comes out and says that how if this whole political leader starts uh, uh, auctioning their own, you know, clothes, you talk about Dhoti, Sormalam Singh Yadav, muffler of Arvind Kejriwal, and then lots of many good things will be taking place. Well, a sarcasm that has been finished up in the mouthpiece of Shiv Sana, uh, that is Samna. Not only that, but then they, uh, also it has been written about the black money, uh, that how, uh, you know, if the uh, Narendra Modi starts changing the clothes uh, and suits uh, on a daily basis, uh, it would be how the black money uh, would be, you know, bring back. But... Well, Urvashi, this is yet another instance of uh, uh, some critique of the NDA government or the Prime Minister in particular that has come out in the Samna. It's been a trend which has uh, been happening every now and then. Uh, is this another indicator of the very bizarre relationship that these allies are sharing there in government in Maharashtra and in the centre? Well, uh, certainly, you know, after the debacle of BJP and Delhi polls, uh, it was seen that how it was all uneasy relationship was in public between Shilsana and BJP. And then this particular, you know, meet of Modi and Pawar uh, made him, you know, uh, add in as a catalyst. But then certainly, uh, it's now uh, on daily basis, uh, you know, Shilsana is giving a kind of sign, indication to BJP uh, to somewhere uh, be in their own, uh, you know, sheet. Well, when that sermon had come out last time, Urvashi, uh, after those results in Delhi, as you're seeing the debacle of the Bharti Janata Party in Delhi, there had been that stinging editorial in the Samna. After that, a senior BJP leader from Maharashtra had come out and said, uh, and rather challenged the Shiv Sena to break away if they feel uh, so, so, so wrongly about the Bharti Janata Party to break away from the alliance in Maharashtra and the center. Do we expect similar remarks to come in again from the BJP leadership this time? Well, now it's for the BGP to see, but then yes, so there you're very much right. It was Ashish Shaila who came out with a kind of statement to the Thakre, the chief and the present supremo of Shivsana, telling that if they have so much of problem with BGP, right. they should break away. Okay, uh, just stay on with us, Urvashi. We're being joined now by Priyanka Chaturvedi, uh, spokesperson of the Congress Party on the phone line. Uh, many thanks, Ms. Chaturvedi, for speaking with NewsX. Your reaction uh, to this stinging Samna editorial that has come out today, uh, which mocks, in a way, uh, Prime Minister Modi and his extravagant ways. They say, maybe he should auction his suits every day, and that way we'll get back all the black money and we'll be able to possibly distribute that amongst the public. What's your reaction to this? No, the reaction firstly would be this is a party which is in alliance with the Bharatiya Janata Party in Maharashtra. What kind of governance are they looking at when they take pot shots every day at the BJP? But having said that, yes, it has become a topic of much discussion that a person who was also you know, bidding for that particular suit was also being raided by uh, income tax authorities and some money was found out of that person. I do not know who finally the bidder was who finally took the suit. But yes, it's quite telling when a prime minister wears clothes like this, when half of the country is living below the poverty line. It is something that's for the prime minister to understand and ensure that uh, uh, mocking the people of this country is not really the answer. And then auctioning that particular suit 
uh, is not really the answer to all the problems that the country faces right now. Right, okay. So, of course, you expectedly agree, uh, Mr. Chaturvedi, with their remarks on that suit. But do you feel, uh, uh, what kind of governance is this when you have frequently the Samna editorials take pot shots and not only the Prime Minister, but the Bharatiya Janata Party as a whole? Do you agree with a senior BJP leader who came out last time after that Samna editorial, which came in after the Delhi elections, who said, if they feel this way, then they should just break away from the alliance in Maharashtra and the centre? No, uh, what, I, what is clearly obvious is that Shasena and BJP are at loggerheads. And uh, for, for me, as right now, the national equation is not as important as the, the equation in Maharashtra. And if they cannot agree on any single thing, then it, it's going to be too costly for Maharashtra and people who have voted in Maharashtra. And that is a state which cannot do with the governance which uh, is not in agreement, when alliance partners are not in agreement. So uh, it's uh, quite obvious uh, with Samna writing an editorial almost every second day that uh, not all is well between these parties. Okay, so it seems clearly not all is well there. Many thanks Priyanka Chaturvedi getting us the Congress's perspective on this issue. Also many thanks to Urvashi Kona getting us the breaking details. Okay, uh, before we move on from this story, let's quickly get in a reaction from Atishi Marlena, spokesperson of the Ahmadmi Party. She also joins us. Atishi, your first reaction uh, to news coming in, the Samna editorial being very stinging on the Prime Minister, saying maybe he should auction all his suits and then we'll get back. Black Money, your first comments. I think that the fact that such an expensive suit was worn by the Prime Minister this does deserve stinging remarks. In a country where 75% of children and women living in rural India are malnourished, the prime minister of this country, who's been elected on a historic mandate, his wearing such an expensive suit is actually a taunt towards the entire democratic practice in the country. And I think, yes, I would agree with the fact that anyone raising questions about this suit is justified. But Ms. Marlena, do you feel it's healthy then that alliance partners should raise such questions? Uh, shouldn't they break off an alliance rather than keep on at various intervals, uh, you know, stinging or making sarcastic remarks about their alliance partner? What kind of alliance is that and what kind of work will such an alliance do for the country then? No, absolutely. I think if these particular parties have come together, I think they do need to question what ideology has actually brought them together. Okay, many thanks, Atishi Marlena, getting us the Ahmadmi Party's perspective on this issue there.